Hey everyone, this is Steve, the Nortel guy, and we're going to do ringing service, or night mode, or night ringing in this video. It's kind of complex to program, and so I'm going to do my best to show you, uh, and I'm going to try to keep it really simple, because there's a lot of feature options inside there, and uh, I don't want to get bogged down by that. So night service is a feature that allows you to make other phones ring, um, when you put the phones into night mode or into what they call a, a ringing mode. And you can have night service, lunch service, evening service. And we're just going to focus on night. And the way that's done is with feature uh, 871 to turn it on. And feature pound 871 to turn it off. Now, if you're getting denied an admin, which is common, people, they do the feature 871, they get denied an admin, it means that either the, the system has not been programmed for night service or the phone that you're trying to use, the actual extension you're trying to use, is not set up as what's known as the control set. So we're going to dive into programming, take a look at that. Again, it's, it's kind of complex and confusing in there, but I'll just try to keep it high level so that you can um, set up a basic night service. All right, we need to enter... Programming uh, features star star two six six three four four. Uh, I'm using a MCIS, so I just need to put in the password. If you're using a BCM, it might ask for a user ID, which would be seven three eight six six two, but I don't need that. Two six six three four four is the password. Uh, these keys over here, which are next, back, uh, show, and escape. I'm going to hit next until I get to services. Show services. So uh, we want ringing services. So I'm going to show ringing services. I need to establish a group. Uh, so I hit show for the groups. Uh, let's use group one because it's defaulted already uh, on the lines. So you don't have to go and do additional programming. Uh, put in 001 and then show that. Uh, and then type in an extension that you want to have ring. So for instance, uh, 4120 would be unassigned. I hit change to assign. Okay, then I can hit next, and, and I can go back, and I can do show again and put in another set. Anyway, in this group, set up all the, or assign the sets that you want to ring during night ringing. Now, not assigning a set doesn't shut ringing off. So if your phone's already set to ring normally during the day, it's still going to continue to ring. This is just additional ringing sets. Okay, once we've established a group, um, uh, let's see, we need to go uh, into schedules. Now, don't let the schedule thing fool you. Um, when you show schedule, there's three different modes. You can simply turn the night service off entirely, which means that you know when you do the feature, feature 871, it's, it's not going to work. Um, but you could have manual, which means you'll turn it on and off manually. Or you can even have auto, which sets it by schedule. And that gets, again, getting kind of complex. So let's just keep it simple here. We're going to leave it at manual. Okay, then hit next. And then what we need to do, uh, just take the defaults there, trunk answer and extra dial. Uh, is line settings. Show the line settings. This is 001. Show line 1 is already assigned for ring group 1, which is perfect. Okay, and then hit the next, and then just make sure that it's also on line 2, ring group 1, line 3, ring group 1. That's the reason I said to use line group uh, 1. You can you can customize other ring groups, but I'm, you know, I'm just trying to keep it simple here for you. All right, once we've set up a group and we've set up the um, we've assigned the groups to the lines, the last thing we need to do is establish what's known as a uh, control set. So again, from the heading services, show, uh, hit next until you get down to common settings, hit show, and then these are the control sets. So remember you said I said that if you got the denied an admin, it might mean that your phone that you're trying to use is not what's known as a control set. Well, we're going to establish that now. So show uh, for lines and for line one is set to 4112, which is this set. It normally defaults to the uh, first extension, which is usually 221, or like on this system, it was 4110, whatever. Just this, just know that the control set for line one that you establish is gonna be the phone where you're gonna turn the line, uh, the night service on and off, okay? So why would you might want to have a different control set for different lines? Just because you might have different departments, and so you might have different ring group patterns for, for night, you know, you might have your accounting department that doesn't use the night service or so forth like that. Okay, so now that I've got that established, um, that should be it. Uh, there's a place where you can set up the schedule if you want to, if you use auto, but I'm not going to go into that because that gets a little more...
complex. Okay, so now what I've done is I've turned it on. So, I mean, I've programmed it. So to turn it on, it's feature 871. Now it's in night ringing mode. And the way you'll know that is the control set, whatever one set that was designated as the control set will show that service is on uh, while it's idle um, for as long as the service is on. And then if I want to turn it off, feature pound 871. And now we're back to normal ringing. So the big difference here is that with normal ringing, however your phones were programmed to ring is, is, is the way they ring. When you put it into night mode, those phones that were programmed to ring still continue to ring. This just adds additional ringing phones. Why might you want to do that? Well, you know, when the central answering position person goes home, you might want to maybe ring the security desk or you might want to ring some other phone in the back of the office that covers the, the calls, you know, after after five o'clock or something like that. Uh, the other thing people do sometimes that's kind of cool is they'll take and assign, remember when I was doing the, um, when I was assigning the the uh, the ringing uh, group, is that what they'll do is, is here in the ring group, they'll get the extension for the voicemail unit. Like, I don't know what mine is, but let's just, let's just say it's 430 or 4130. If I assign that, then what happens is, is I've got a, if I have an auto attendant enabled, is that is is when it's in night mode, it will ring to the voicemail unit, which will which will um, invoke the uh, auto attendant. So that's something that people sometimes do with night mode, is they use it as a way of live answering during the day and then auto answer with the auto attendant at night. But there's another way to do that. If you look at my my video on um, the operator command, there's another way to to do that same thing. Okay, well I hope that helps you with your night ringing. Uh, needs and uh, thanks for watching.